success and <clears throat> decision making. You know, a manager of a company and a chess player are doing something quite similar. Both of them are taking difficult decisions under pressure and quickly. This is why uh, we have uh, worked a little bit also on that field. And, you know, chess is therefore very, very useful in that area, but grandmaster, the German grandmaster, Stefan Kinderman, has gone even farther than that. He has a lot of experience on um, educational chess, but now he has developed a program to work on the making decision process, but with children. Please, Grandmaster Kinderman, be welcome to this educational summit in 2022. Thank you and very much. Go ahead. Thank you. Ah, I think it's... Mm, thank you. Well, thanks a lot to Judith for this great event and for uh, the invitation. I'm very happy to tell a bit about our concepts and our background. Our Munich Chess Foundation now just recently became 15 years old, so it's quite a big teenager by now. And um, during the year, we um, support up to 1,300 children in socially deprived areas. There are also other groups like uh, young refugees and also kids from Ukraine, of course, in, in Munich, um, like physically handicapped people or like needy seniors. And I will tell a bit um, about the special system that we developed, how to get the maximum effect when we support and work with children. We developed a so-called King's Plan for Children, original title Königsplan. Um, this originally we uh, developed um, for managers and executives. German, not so easy to pronounce, Königsplan, King's Plan. And this is a strategy model over seven stages that I developed together with economy professor Robert von Weizsäcker and my good friend Diana Dengler. And it's a model for um, planning and decision taking. And it's generated from the analysis of the structure of the thinking process of the best chess players of grandmasters. And nowadays, um, on this topic, we are giving lectures, we are giving workshops for the Bavarian government or for larger companies or for professional conferences. Now then, several years ago, we got the idea to use these strategies to give them for kids in a way that they not only can profit from all the known benefits of chess that you all know very well, but to give them tools to um, solve very concrete problems in school if they have the next um, text math exercise, if they have stress at the schoolyard just to change the perspective, seeing the world through the eyes of the other one. And this, the King's Plan for Kids, for Children, is basically divided in two phases. In the first phase, of course, like with all good chess didactics, the most important is to um, make the kids enthusiastic about chess, to make it very lively, um, very many interactive elements. And, well, just to give you some examples of this concretely, um, for example, the kids, um, in this case myself, but <laughs> with one of our trainers, but usually the kids themselves, they become, they become kings or rooks, and you can always, with simple constellations, no more than four pieces, otherwise it's chaotic, the kids can show, let's say, um, how to attack the king, what, how to give checkmate with, um, uh, with king and rook against king, while becoming the pieces themselves, and you show at the same time, the position at the demonstration board. And there are many other ways how you can use this, just to give one other example. If a kid himself or herself cannot solve a problem given at the demonstration board, you don't say, oh, you failed. No, because it's very important to develop self-confidence. 
So you, the kid gets the crown and the scepter and can get an advisor from the class and they can try to solve it together. And if they don't succeed, they can get even another advisor. So this is one practical tool. Another one is uh, what we developed, um, our chess yoga. This is a way to bring yourself also, um, especially with the kids, if they're a bit tired or over hyper nervous, to get them into a good personal shape. This corresponds with the first stage of the Königsplan, begin in best form is the title, because for any kind of challenge, my personal shape is an all important requisite for having success afterwards. Here we can see it in actions with a bit more kids. And this is a very effective way. It's not only yoga, but you play the chess pieces. And so it's fun. And afterwards, you're refreshed and you have more power. And a very important point, even in this first phase, when you try to get kids enthusiastic about chess, um, to put the rules in a context of sense. So it means not just to show the king goes like this, the rook goes like this, but combine this with first little trainings and exercises in thinking. Also here to give one example that you can use only the kings to pose some interesting problems that even as we see in our workshops, even for top managers are not so easy to solve. In this position, the task for white is to break through to the black back row with the, um, with the yellow fields. And here to solve this, um, you have already to think some moves ahead, imagine what possibilities you have, which variations, what are the black reactions. So you have to switch perspective and go into the world of the other one. And um, you have to foresee the best defense for the other one. And even if you find the best move for white, in this case, king to a5, after the black defense, if the king, black king um, goes um, to b7 to stop him to break through to the last rank, you have to find the next white move going into opposition to b5 and understand the concept of Zugzwang because um, optically it looks exactly the same like other constellations when you cannot win. So already with kings you can really introduce some very interesting elements and each piece that we introduce in our system is linked already with some thinking exercises and some corresponding practical examples from life or other areas. Okay, then when the kids, so to say, have caught fire, when they start loving the game and having lots of fun and have first experiences of success, now we can really introduce some strategies in a very simple, um, childful way of our strategic model, Königsplan, King's Plan. Uh, so how do we do it? Um, a very important tool that can be recommended and can be used to introduce any topic is our concentration game. This is very simple. In the concentration game, you show a uh, chess position according to the level of the kids, of course, that they can understand it. Um, and you give two minutes time. Children have to memorize the position. It's also a very good tool if it's a bit noisy in the class because this is absolutely focusing. The kids are very quiet and concentrated because they know after two minutes, you put some uh, blanket over the chessboard that you showed before. And in the first step, they have to reconstruct the position. And later on, if they advance, also solving problems blindfold. And this is much more than just a memory exercise, because in more complex positions, the kids have to understand very quickly what are the important elements, what is really going on here, what do I have to focus on. And of course, it's also good training in visualization. Now, just to show you um, a practical example from a simple chess position, how to use the simple routine of thinking with the idea if the kids do it again and again, and it's also linked with practical examples and some logic games, that they can use it for any challenge they have, as I said, as in mass or in, in real life. Okay, let's just show one simple chess example on this. Given that the kids, of course, know the basic concept of the back row made before. Well, how to start? If you look at this position, because it's important from the very beginning to build up this thinking routine. 
that can be used again and again, and then it will be also very effective in much more complex positions when it, the solution is not so obvious, like for better chess players, um, like in this example. Well, how do we proceed? As I said, the first thing is, look, um, how is my state, how is my shape in the moment? As I said, this is a very important prerequisite, this first step of the Kunis plan. And if the skits who are used in the environment, if the problem is occurring, maybe just to run away or to fight, just to breathe deeply, take a quiet look at the given situation, and then switch on the brains, we achieved already quite a lot. So the next step, so not to develop some wild ideas, but first a clear, quiet stock taking of the given position. What is going on here? The first, the simplest, of course, the material, which is obviously equal here, but still important to do it in a systematic way. And then the second one, in this case, later on it gets more complex, of course, the fate of the kings. In, in what shape are the kings? Are they afraid? Are they relaxed? As my colleague Diana Dengler used to say, can the, can the uh, king uh, sit back, take a cocktail, or is he afraid? Is he nervous? Well, and then, after we succeeded in doing this meticulous stock-taking, basically, about the position, um, what's going on here? How is the starting, starting point? Now, stage three and four in the Königsplan, in this case, because it's a simple case, they uh, melt into each other, is to look in the traditional forward thinking, as we call it, looking what are the variations, what are the power moves, and just give them a bit of thinking. And so at first we see there, obviously, um, if you know the rules and a bit deeper into chess, of course, only when the kids know a bit already about chess, as I said, it's the second phase, that we have two basic power moves. The queen can take the rook, or my rook can do da go down to the last rank to attack the black king. But at the first sight, both moves don't look too intelligent, because if I go down with my rook to attack the black king, the queen will take it. And on the other hand, if I take the rook, the black queen will take my important queen and they will lose a lot of material. So at first sight, we are stuck. But now we can use the fifth and sixth step of the Königsplan. The sixth being the vision. What is my vision? What is my dream? And of course, if we analyze the situation of the kings, my dream would be a beautiful back row mate. And now comes the sixth step of the Königsplan, if we go back, namely the question, always starting from the goal, the vision. And the question being, what has to happen before, before I reach my goal? And here obviously, what is my problem? The black queen has to disappear before I can reach my final goal, the back row mate. And the next question, because here's the point, going step by step from the future vision, back to back to the present. The question being, yeah, the queen, the queen is the problem. So before I succeed, the queen has to leave this defensive square. But the queen won't do it for free. So what must happen to tempt the queen, to give um, a strong incentive for the queen to leave the last row? And then we come back, we combine the forward and the backward thinking, because in the forward thinking, one of the first variations was the idea to take the black rook, and we saw then the black queen can take back. But if we combine this with the idea, if the black queen has left, then we can fulfill our dream, our vision. And then, obviously, the kids very quickly find the solution, and in later stages, they even can do it in a blindfold way, and then it's even more effective. And so you can slowly develop the mental muscles, the power of visualization, the power of concentration. And if you link this with some logic games, with example from practical life, some math text exercises where you always use the same thinking routine, which also gets a bit complex later on, of course, um, according to our King's plan, Kuni's plan, then we believe that kids can hugely profit of this. But above all kinds of methods and above all kinds of um, mental and thinking strategies, the most important, what we believe and what we give to the trainers who work for us when, you when we educate and prepare them, is to show the kids that we believe in them. And to give them faith, showing we believe in them. And in this way, 
giving them faith in themselves and helping them to have a really good start into life and to overcome all forthcoming obstacles. And I think this is really the most important gift that we can give to these children who are having hard times in life in many cases. And if you succeed in this, by chess and by our King's Plan for Kids or by all the other beautiful ways and methods presented here, then we really achieved a lot. Thank you for your attention.